What's up, Sagittarius? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? Come on in here, hop on the couch, kick your feet up, relax and enjoy yourselves, boo. Grab your weed, your blank cigarettes, drink fruit, water, hell, I don't give a fuck, just do you. But allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me. Because you don't have two booze and you're doing for that, it truly means the world to me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being the real ones. Thank you, I appreciate that. I only want the real ones to stay. All right, but anywho, um, this gonna be a reading, my lovely Sagittarius, on the general love message, just general love reading, okay? So general love messages. All right, so the cards that I pulled for you are the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The um, what is this? Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Judgment, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. And the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, I feel that this person will be rushing in. Rushing in back into you. To give you some type of passion and communication. They looking for your forgiveness. Okay, they could be looking for your forgiveness for a third party situation. They could be looking for your forgiveness just for being a player in and out in their energy. They could be also looking for your energy. I mean, also look for your energy. What the fuck that means? They could be also looking for your forgiveness for walking away from the connection. All right? Because I see that just evolves all around the forgiveness card. Okay? This person made a judgment call. They want to let go of all judgments and grudges so that you guys can reconcile and move forward. Okay? Yeah. Let's clarify and see what we get. Oh. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. So, yeah, this person wants to reconcile with you. For some of you, you, you will be reconciling, all right? This person missed the happy times you guys shared and had, and they just want them back, okay? After this third-party situation. Could have been dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But yeah, let's clarify and see what we get. bottom of the deck we have the emperor which is aries this person could have you could have been married this person could have been the father of your children a little bit older than you but they don't have to be very wise and stern want to control everything and everybody you know how aries are um oh actually this could be aries or taurus my bad aries or taurus yeah but yeah okay let's see what we got here Seems like this person is walking away from something. Walking away from something that no longer serves them to offer you their cup of love. Okay, they want to bring emotional beginning with you. Okay, whatever whatever they walking away from wasn't serving them because those eight of cups are empty. They walking away to look for their nine of cups and I feel this is their ninth cup, which is you. They feel you're there with nine, nine wish fulfillment, their nine cups. Okay. Um... Yeah, but I see you standoffish. You being standoffish, still feeling a little guarded. Still got your defenses defensive up because this person had a family. Okay. Yeah, but they want to offer you a brand new side, brand new passion to begin, and they also want to offer you something else because they see you as somebody they can build. They see you as somebody they can work with and create something for the future. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, 
they took a leap of faith. They took a risk and took a leap of faith on their own journey because there was too much strife, too much drama going on wherever they was. Too much strife, too much drama, okay? It's with the Six of Swords. This person is leaving a, leaving a relationship that was painful. And there is some degree of shame involved, okay? The partner could have been very controlling and manipulative. And they finally taking action to improve the situation. Okay. They could have also, some of y'all, they could have been forced to be, they could have been forced to be, they could have been forced to move out. Okay. Not for all of you, but just some of you. Okay. Just apply to your life and leave the rest. That's what I see. Okay. Everybody is here, but I get strong. Um, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Uh, Aries. Mm -hmm. But everybody is here. Still can be anybody. At the bottom of the deck, we have uh, the Two of Swords. So, yeah, you blocked this person. It's been a stalemate situation, okay? Or this person could have been um, juggling, you know, at a crossroads. Could have been, yeah, they was at a crossroads. Could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Stuck at a crossroads. trying to find balance in a difficult situation. Yeah, it was too much arguing. It was, they was going through a lot. It was, it was a lot of confusion, a lot of drama, a lot of fussing, and a lot of fighting. And you could have blocked this person. Yeah, this person felt stuck in their situation. But yeah, they, now they want to come back because they still they still see you as the world. Something came came to a full cycle with this person. Now, but yeah, they ready to take uh, the relationship to the next level with you. All right, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. They'll see you as they world. They want to give you the world. They want to offer you the world. Because they still madly in love with you. Okay? They may not carry their feelings on their sleeve, but they do. Because you're dealing with the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this person is single now. And they're ready to bring balance back into the relationship. They're ready to come in and be fair. They're ready to rebalance the scales of justice. Okay. They know you're looking for revenge. Hell, karmic justice. For what they did. Could be dealing with a Libra.
Yeah, they know you're looking for karmic justice for them dealing with somebody in their past. But this person been reminiscing about you. Can't stop thinking about you. Reminiscing about the good old times you guys shared and had. Could be the um, could be Kendrick spirits, but this will be a soulmate returning from your past. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, because this person been having a whole lot of hope and faith for you guys, and you always been their wish fulfillment. They just feel you a little hard to reach and cold and distant. Could be dealing with Aquarius. Yeah, you been focusing on your bag. You been looking good, smelling good. Okay. Nurturing yourself. Grounding yourself. And this person has been going through a profound sadness that they had to move on from you in a relationship. Yeah, they just been waiting for you to open up and come forward. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, ever since they left, they said you. Ever since they walked away from leaving a painful situation, okay, they've been waiting on you to come forward. And they've been waiting on you to come forward ever since they all walked away from you as well. Yeah, but you felt like this person took you for granted because you literally carried the relationship. All right? And this relationship felt overburdened, like it was depleting your energy. But I see you released them burdens. Could be going to Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, you felt like they took you for granted with their secret mistress. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Yeah, felt like they was feeding up their energies to other things and other people. But like they took you for granted because they were feeding their energies to other things and other people. Yeah, juggling you and somebody else. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, out there having third party situations, but they want to reconcile. Right? They want to reconcile so that you guys can celebrate being back together. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Because this person has been missing you like crazy and wondering if you're going to ever return. This person could have probably been the type of person to have wandering eyes. Had you as their main and had, you know, side pieces. Yeah, but this person still finds you hella sexy and attractive. They still find you beautiful. Okay. And they still want to come build with you. They want to build and have something with you. Can you do a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Let's get you one more card. And they will be trying to communicate with you. Try, uh, trying to communicate with you. Want to start a new passionate love endeavor with you. All right. This person could be young. For some of you, younger than you. Or just young at heart. Or was just childish. Let's get some more messages. Get some messages on how they truly feel about you. the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life some of you are dealing with a uh, Scorpio cassette outdating thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head palm tree stability security perseverance growth endurance and flexibility I know even though this person um even though this relationship ended between you guys, this person can't stop thinking about you. They keep replaying shit over and over in their head because they they know that there's stability and they want stability and security with you 
you they realize now you're the one that bring them growth. Okay, and they had to go through some painful shit to realize that. All right, let's get you an advice card. Inspiration and courage. It's a pretty card. All that fire in you guys are fire signs. Okay. All right, Saggy Poo. Spirit is Spirit says it's time for you to be inspiring and have courage. Maybe some of you just don't feel inspired right now. It may lack, you know, courage due to the trials and tribulations of life. Spirit is telling you it's time to get up and start inspiring yourself if you have to. Okay. If, if you have nobody around you, it's time to start encouraging yourself, okay? So, um, it's time to find courage within yourself because you have it and it's there, all right? You see, she has her hand over her heart. So, maybe you guys need to uh, do some uh, work on your heart chakra. Heal your heart chakra, okay, with some heart chakra meditation music, okay? Your heart may have been broken, for quite some time now and it's time to let go of all that hurt and pain that no longer serves you okay do um do you go out in nature well it's i'm telling i'm telling everybody this okay because nature is healing or you may own a cat so connect back to nature first okay go out into nature and go and if you own a cat go out and buy the baby something new and play with them you know what i'm saying with it okay you may like candles because there's candles surrounded, by, she's surrounded by candles. Go out and buy you the most expensive. Go, buy, go out and buy you the, the expensive, nice aromatherapy candles. Okay, I'm gonna start making some myself so y'all be able to get them for me. But start listening to inspirational speeches to uplift your spirits. I do all the time. Uh, the person I uh, go to is Eric Thomas. So start there. I'm sure y'all like them. Spirit said it's time to start releasing yourself. Real, um, realigning yourself back to the frequency frequency of love because that's who you are, okay? You inspire and encourage those who are around you, if you know it or not. Spirit says, be that inspiration that they need, okay? Give them the courage that they only seek from you because you're way more powerful than you think. And it's time to heal and listen to your heart, all right? So go check out my favorite, uh, inspirational video by eric thomas called how bad do you want it now it's like five minutes and 15 5 15 yeah when you do see it it's only five minutes and 15 seconds 15 minutes or some shit like that 5 15 all right so go check that out because i'm a sagittarius rising so i know y'all gonna love it all right me loves but i'm gonna leave it here so um, if this resonated with you, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, you can give me a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck as long as you take heed to the message. All right, me loves? So thanks for watching. And until next time, same bad time, same bad channel. All right, deuces.